greetings children welcome to the online classes this is aishwarya please like and subscribe the channel for the further updated videos the following video is for class 4 subject general science chapter 8 weight where animals live this lesson starts from page number 68 keep your textbooks with you when we are going through the lesson so now uh, you all have uh you all live in your homes right now where do animals live animals also live in houses they have their own home they have their own house where they live where they eat food where they sleep where they protect their young ones where they are safe the place where they can stay the home uh, is the one which can give them shelter it is a place where we rest sleep and feel safe okay our home is where we get back to every night okay wherever you go you go out you go to wherever it is you go to your friends place you go to meet your friends go to parties you always if you go to, even if you go to school you return back to your home right home is the place where we can rest where we can sleep where we can feel safe and the place where we can eat our food in the same way animals need a place to live a rabbit lives in a burrow and a tiger lives in a cave in forest beside the shelter and safe uh, space animals also need water to drink and food to eat these things are not available inside their homes they have to go out to fulfill their needs it's the same thing with us also right in our house we have food available we have water available we can breathe the fresh air everything is available in our house but we have to go outside to get to earn the food your parents your father goes outside your mother goes outside to earn the food right if simply nobody can come and give us food we have to go outside we have to work hard for it and we have to earn our food same way the animals also if they have want need food they have to come out of their houses and they have to find their food so animals make their homes where they are safe and water and food are available okay so we are going to learn what are habitats if you already have had a last little introduction about habitat habitats is a place where an animal or a plant naturally lives and grows a habitat is a place where an animal or a plant naturally lives or grows naturally it is present there not bringing the animal and keeping it in the zoo zoo is not a habitat okay zoo is an artificial home created for the animals and keeping animals in the zoo is not entertained these days because they are shut inside the zoo for their lifetime now you and i we are all staying in the houses for a very long time now right we cannot go out to school we cannot go out for shops we have to be very careful we just have to stay inside our house isn't it so it becomes very difficult for you and me to stay inside the house then how will the animals feel to stay inside the house the same way that we are feeling today so we should be compassionate about those animals which are living in the zoo a habitat meets all the animals need needs like a habitat means it should meet all these following needs of the animal like uh, food should be available water should be available air should be present shelter shelter means the place of safety a place to raise their young ones safety from predators all these things is necessary for a place to be called as an habitat for an animal okay so there are many types of habitats in this world okay now uh, plants and animals that live in a particular habitat can live there as they have adapted themselves to the environment there okay now even plants have habitats 
plant as the animals plants also have habitats a plant's habitat is the area where the plant grows naturally and is adapted to that area for example a cactus natural habitat is a desert and that of a conifers tree conifers tree is cold hilly areas in their respective habitat the plant can live get its requirement of water and minerals and also reproduce now here are some examples for different types of habitats of animals there are many types of habitats in the world plant and animals that live in a particular habitat can live there as they have adapted themselves to the environment there some plants and animals like cactus camel etc live in a hot desert these plants and animals do not need as much as water as the other type of plants and animals need now all the other plants and animals we they need water every day but these cactus and camel which live in the desert they don't have to uh, they don't need the food as they don't need the water as regular as the other plants and animals okay like camels can store water cactus also can store water then second example is some animals like bears and leopards live in a forest or a cave habitat because they prefer cool and shady areas okay they they prefer cool and shady areas so they live in forests some plants and animals like uh, frogs and crocodiles live along um, the muddy beaches where the animal meets uh, where the water meets the land this is because they can live on land as well as in water the animals like frogs and crocodile they can live in water also they can they can live in land also so they live on those dampy muddy beaches okay where where it is wet all the time and there is uh, land also some animals choose to be in the water like a marine habitat marine habitat means like the animals which live in the oceans some organisms live in the water for example seaweed fishes etc all these things they live in the oceans okay there are some animals and plants that live in very cold regions very cold extremely cold polar regions near the poles or a very high mountains like penguins polar bears arctic terns conifers conifer trees live and grow in a very cold region for us to survive in a very cold region it is very difficult so these animals have adopted in such a way that they can live in the extreme cold regions okay how are some animals able to live in a forest and some are not how does an animal or plant thrive in a particular environment because animals and plants have adapted their bodies to suit that environment a cactus plant or a camel has adapted itself to live on a very less water a rabbit has big ears so it can hear the sound of foxes and can ex escape aquatic plants have a waxy coating on their surface to protect themselves from excess water in short all animals and plants have adapted themselves according to their natural habitat then how do we know what an animal's habitat is how do we know that if okay the this is the animal's habitat habitat comes in all sizes it can be small pond it can be a huge forest the habitat of a frog is its pond okay as you can see in the picture it the frog lives in a pond its home is in the pond it gets food in the pond it is safe from predators and it also reproduces in the pond a frog does not have to leave the pond for anything all its needs are met in the pond itself so a pond is a frog's habitat on the other hand the habitat of a tiger is the whole forest although it makes caves its cave makes a cave its home for food it goes out and hunt other animals as a tiger must move a lot for food it makes the whole forest its habitat a tiger goes hunting finding for the food but the frog finds its food it finds reproduce it reproduces in the pond everything happens in this very small region itself but for a tiger it is not such way 
it has to go out of its cave to um, hunt to find the food and bring the food for its kids in the cave okay so that is the difference that is where how we decide what a animal's habitat is it can be in any different size so the remaining part of the lesson will continue in the next video thank you children stay at home stay safe take care of yourself keep learning please do the exercises in your textbooks in your workbook also